Okay, I'm back. It's all applied. This is what my hair looked like. Uh, I will cover this with a plastic cap. And just to show you, I didn't have much of a mess. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to um, apply my plastic cap and leave this on for about 20 minutes. Now, I did have some mud wash left and what I'm going to do I'm not letting that go to waste I'm going to apply that that's going to be my face mask and this is my applicator that I use and um, I'll let and once I leave it on for like 20 minutes I'm going to hop in the shower because I find that um, Rinsing this out, and it does rinse out very easily, um, will um, make things a lot easy for me by if I use, if I hop in the shower. Uh, if you decide to use this as a mask for your face, this stuff does dry. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it tightens you. It is going to tighten things up a uh, a great bit. So. Anyway, I, if you have any questions about the bentonite clay for your hair or for your face, leave your questions below. I'll be happy to answer those for you. And I hope everyone will have a great holiday. I had a great Thanksgiving and... Christmas is going to be in a few weeks, so I know I'm getting prepared for that. And uh, But I, I will be back on because I did order some products for Black Friday that I want to sh share with you all. I, uh, I hadn't bought products in quite a while, so um, I'll share my haul uh, with you guys. But... I truly believe that as far as this mask, I think that it's great for your skin and your hair. I believe in trying things at least once. And when I tried this, I really liked it. So I wanted to share the steps that I take to apply the mask. And any questions, just let me know. Okay, I know I'm looking like a clown here with this on my face, but that's okay. Because uh, one thing about it, we must take care of our skin. And uh, whatever it is that you do that give you good results, just share with us. That's why we're all here. Anyway, have a great day. And oh, also, to my new subscribers, thanks. And I'll see you in the next video. Well, actually, I will see you once I rinse this off. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, ladies, I am done. I've rinsed the mud wash out of my hair. This is my hair without any products. These are my curls. Uh, my hair is very soft. It does not feel stripped at all. Okay. Um, so if anyone would like to try an alternative to shampoo, because even though you know, a lot of us co-wash, I think it's good to um, shampoo your hair pretty, all, pretty regularly uh, just to make sure you have a clean palette to work with. Um, you might want to try this hair wash. It's very inexpensive. And if anyone is familiar with Terra Essential Mud Wash, the, um, the recipe that I shared with you, the two main ingredients in that product would be bentonite clay and aloe vera juice.
Um, I know the price of Terra Essentials Mud Wash could be kind of costly, especially with shipping, but with this recipe, it's very economical, and um, it makes my hair feels really clean. My scalp feels really clean. Everything is great. So my next step, what I'll do, I'm going to, I'm not going to deep condition today. Uh, all I'm going to do is just add my favorite leave-in, which is the Kiki Curly. Not today. I'm going to add that. Let my hair air dry. And then I'm going to, think I'm going to wear um, a bun or some type of updo. I'm not really sure yet, but I don't think I'm going to um, do a twist out today. I think I'll wear my hair up this week. Anyway, I want to come back and show you what my naked hair look like. And uh, just in case you might want to try the uh, Bentonite Clay Hair Wash. I love it and I will continue to use it. So until the next video, thanks for watching and have a great week.